Hi, I'm Serge Thu and welcome to Mac Studio A. In this episode, how to create an auto-expanding password protected folder. In the previous episode titled, How to Password Protect a Folder, an encrypted password protected folder was created from an existing folder. If you have not had a chance to watch the previous episode, I have included a link in the descriptions below and also added a click to watch option at the end of this episode. As I've recently discovered, when encrypting and password protecting an existing folder, it was not expandable. For example, if the existing folder was 100 megabytes and you wanted to say add an additional 100 megabyte file to it, you would get this message. The item can't be copied because there isn't enough free space. One option would be to delete some files to accommodate the 100 megabytes file. But these are your secret files. There must be another solution. Well, you'll be glad to know there is. Enter the sparse bundle disk. In theory, a sparse bundle disk is an auto-expanding folder that grows in size according to the limit you have set and only uses actual hard disk space when files are copied to it. Furthermore, if you find that you need additional space, it can be resized. Now for a demo. Let's get started. I should mention, as we'll be using the disk utility application, make sure that you have made a backup of your hard disk just in case something goes wrong. Wrong, like accidentally executing a command by mistake. So with the familiar backup warning taken care of, let's continue. I'll just open Finder so that you can know the current Macintosh hard disk space, which in my case is 62.79 gigabytes. Now launch disk utility. Either select blank disk image here or directly from the disk utility window by clicking on the new image icon here. Choose a name for the image file. I'll just call it Blackbook2. Then name the folder inside the image file. I'll call mine Top Secret. Next, the size that you want the folder to be. I'll choose 100 megabytes. Remember, you can always resize it later if you need more space. Leave the format as Mac OS Extended Journal. For encryption, either select 128 or 256 bit. As noted, 256 bit is more secure but slower. I'll just choose the recommended. For the partition, leave the default of no partition map. And finally, for the image format, select sparse bundle disk image. Then press the create button. You will now be prompted to enter a password to secure the top secret folder. I didn't emphasize this in my previous episode. Keep your password safe and secure. Even if you have 10 backups of your image file, it's useless if you lose or forget your password. Now for the most important part. Make sure to uncheck Remember Password in My Keychain. Otherwise it will be pointless creating a private secure folder. After pressing the OK button, the secure file name Blackbook2 will be created along with the top secret folder inside it. In case you haven't noticed, no actual hard disk space was used just 2.9 megabytes for the creation of the top secret folder. As mentioned earlier, actual hard disk space is only used when files are added to the top secret folder, as I'll demonstrate here. The current Macintosh hard disk space is 62.78 gigabytes. As I copy approximately 75 megabytes to the top secret folder, it decreases to 62.71 gigabytes. As you can see, the top secret folder now has only 24.8 megabytes available. I'll just resize it by adding an additional 100 megabytes. But before proceeding, the top secret folder has to be ejected first, as shown. And that's all there is to it, a secure password protected folder that can be expanded when needed. Thanks for watching and thumbs up if you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the next episode. Thanks and peace.